Hey everybody, this is Noah Glitzer again from LegendZelda.net. Uh, in the last video, we left off right after I beat the mini boss here in the Water Temple in Twilight Princess. So, this part of the segment will be taking you through the boss key and going right outside of the uh, final boss of this dungeon. Um, I have a special guest commentator again this time. Um, he goes by Flaming Blue, and he will now introduce himself a little bit. Hello. This is Flaming Gamer. If you just want to find my channel, just search Flaming Blue Gamer, even though I don't even have any videos up yet, but I'll try and get to that as soon as I can. So, how are you doing today? Alright. Um... I myself am doing pretty well. Just got off work and got home to do this audio. Haven't updated in a while, been a little bit busy, but I have a couple of segments I hope to get up here this week. And from there, I'm going to be going on to the next dungeon. Um, have you played Twilight Princess yourself? Yeah, I played the Wii version and I got to about this point and I ran out of rupees and I wasn't going to grind. And I, it was actually a borrowed copy, so I had to give it back, so, I got about to this part, and then I had to give it back, but, yeah. Alright. Well, this is the, uh, GameCube version, for all of you who do not remember, so, everything's flipped. Are they, um, reversed? Yeah, everything is, uh, GameCube version is kind of to the left, where the Wii version is to the right. I get confused here and there, and you'll probably notice that throughout this video where I'm always going the wrong way, or I'll stop, start to and realize that I need to turn around. So yeah, I'm not that much of a exploring game kind of person, except for Zelda and Metroid. That's pretty much it. Yeah, I used to do a whole bunch of uh, exploring, and I used to be like a completist with all the Zelda games, but here in the last couple I'm of games never I stopped. a completionist, unless <laughs> it's... Something that makes the game a lot, lot easier than I just pick it up and move on. Yeah, that's kind of how I am the last couple of games, but I'm hoping with Skyward Sword that I'll go back to and actually being the entire game. We'll see. Yeah. But, um, what I'm doing right here is I'm just going around. I need to get the water flowing throughout the temple. And, uh, we just got the claw shot last time. As you notice here, I've got some water going. And, uh, and how long of Time Water Temple do this? Yeah, kind it of thing? kind of had a simple thing stuff with Ocarina of Time. It had a, uh, you played the the song on the Ocarina which would manually raise the water levels and you can raise and lower them yourself. This one, once you raise it, you don't really drop it back down. I recently just started Ocarina again and I haven't gotten very far. <laughs> I have a let's play of Ocarina going on. I haven't updated that in ages, in a very long yeah, time. Yeah, I'll check that out after this. I'm still on the third temple, I believe. I love how he dies in the concrete here. Like, he's standing up above, and then and the sound that he makes when he actually <laughs> hits it. It's like, no pain whatsoever. Oh, he just broke his neck. He should be dead. Game over. But... <laughs> You should probably do something like that in Skyward Sword just to take people off. <laughs> uh, my brother's Middle always from Nintendo. <laughs> my brother's always been a fan of if you die, you should have to restart the entire game. Uh, wasn't there um, wasn't there a Nintendo game that made you do that? A lot of the old games used to be kind of like that, or if you ran out of lives, you were all, all the way back to the beginning. That was all the way back to the beginning. Yeah. Before they had save chips and everything in the game. Yeah. yeah. Like I know the original Mario Brothers and a bunch of the Sonic games or the Genesis, you couldn't save the game, and it was just kind of like a Except one attempt. Except for the third one, I think that's when they started letting you save. Yeah, it took a couple of them before they finally started letting you. But, um. Here we are again. Uh, later on, this room will be these platforms will be rotating once I get the water turning, which will get the gears moving. But right now, you have to use the claw shot to uh, work your way across the room. I think there's just some rupees in here. Nope, they're bombs. Bombs. Forgot. Bombs. Um, let's just take not out these to, keys. Not going to say the obvious joke, but what's the obvious joke? I uh, I can't really remember, but I just 
remember the word bombs and I think of a joke. <laughs> Alright, well I've never heard it, so if you remember, let me know. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, Probably not in this part. I, I hate this, where you're trying to let go of the vine and you turn around and it just keeps re-grabbing re the vines over and over again. It does it to me all the time. I like the hook shot, it's a good mechanic. Pretty nice, and I like how they gave you the double hook shot later on. Or claw shot, to whatever they're calling it now. Where's you gonna hook shot claw shot? Claw our way over. I don't know why I was looking around, I just felt like I needed to. But yeah, we're going over here. So, let's grab on those vines, climb around, and just go through this doorway right here. And. Yeah, we'll be in this room. And, um. May I say what projects I'm about to start soon? Go for it. Pokemon Silver and New Super Mario Brothers Wii. I'm a Nintendo person, not any other system person. Thing. Very nice. I, uh, I started, I recorded like six worlds of Super Mario Bros. Wii, and I delayed them because I just didn't like it. <laughs> so I got a waste of time. I've done them like maybe two days because I had a lot of free time those days. And I got it done in nine parts because it was like a world each part except for the last two. I was just doing where I just put the fire from level in the credits at, at the end of the last part. I was just doing one video per level. It's probably uh, is not the most effective way, but not the most effective. I uploaded like two videos of that walkthrough and I'm like, nope. I don't like the way it turned out and I just deleted everything. I'm just abusing the new time limit. Like the new you can do over 15 minute time limit. On... I oh, on YouTube. Oh, alright. Got rid of all my videos. That's yeah, a lot. Pay for silver. The new um, 15 minute rem restriction removal is very helpful. I mean, it, doing videos in 10 minute segments, what it used to be, that was... That was ridiculous. Couldn't get anything done. Speaking of which, I'm gonna check. Because I have... Up. And I just I still have it. Do went, I still have it? No, I don't still have it. I went the wrong way there again, thinking that was in the Wii version. Yep. But you just gotta climb up here. It's very similar to the last one that you saw in the last video, where you just kind of work your way up this spiral path. Um, this time, there's a couple of these. Um, what are these things called? Are these Helmosaur things? I don't know. I believe that's what they're called, but. I'm just gonna hook your shot, hook your way over there, attach that little thing, keep my way up. I'm just gonna run past all these enemies here. And um, at the top, there will be another um, hook, which, or not hook, a button lever that you can pull, which will get the wire going down again. This might be a stupid question, too, but do we get to the boss or the boss door? The door. Oh, okay. I like to have the bosses separately so I can put them on a boss strategy guy that I have on my site. Uh. So yeah, I just climb up this ladder, jump and grab on, line it up so you don't fall. I'm having a problem lining it up, and there we go. Going to get the water going down. Um, there's this chest there. If you want to grab it, you can. Um, you just kind of have to hook your way over there. But I am not going to do it. I'll like look up there. I yeah, just need a test to that. I'll actually do it. Get closer. And uh, I'm just going to slide my way down. This room is now filled up with water. It's The platform in the middle is now going to be accessible where we can again climb aboard and uh... It's like wet and wild. <laughs> that's that place what she I never went to and I never want to. I've never heard of it. It's uh... here. Uh, yeah. yeah. Grab onto that. This will open the gate which will allow the water to flow out of it and back towards the center room. I'm gonna back on there so I can go and take the
quicker path and not get chewed up by these piranhas. And um, here I'm going to be showing you guys um, how to get some of the hidden chests in the dungeon before I continue on. It's, it's just kind of like a natural progression of where I was going, so I felt like I would show you guys. But you just need to go to the right door. If you remember, we came in through the left, so I'm going to go here now. Water's flowing, and uh, it's going to take us down. Just jump, and there will be a chest in the water here. If you put on the iron boots, you can get to it, which I will show you guys. I really wish I got this far in the game. You should, uh... It it's or not something. really far into it, but you know. can get the game for like ten dollars at like GameStop sometimes and stuff. So I was looking for the GameCube version a few weeks ago, and it was thirty-four. Thirty-four. I yeah. Check on Amazon. I'm sure you can get a lot yeah, cheaper Amazon there. Amazon will probably be the best idea. But um, yeah, as I said earlier, when the water starts flowing, those are going to start rotating. So we're just gonna need to jump across these gears and you go into the door to my right where that guy is standing in front of it. So let's take him out real quick. And I'm just gonna go through and leave him. He doesn't need to be killed yet. For some reason those enemies look like um the new Pokemon in black and white for some reason to me. <laughs> and I haven't even gotten that game and I know what they look like. No, I just uh bought it yesterday on Amazon. I had a voucher that I earned through their affiliate program and I signed up for their student account to get free two-day shipping so uh, I've not played a Pokemon game since uh, Pokemon Yellow and Blue so this is gonna be something new for me. Yeah. Like, I mean there's like... It's all changed a lot. That's what it looks like. There's like this crazy EV training stuff. Um, day and night yeah, stuff, off seasons, too. all of this different kind of stuff. I'm gonna be lost. Yep. So, but I, I am looking and forward let to. Let me it. tell you, the names of the English names of the new ones are very hard to pronounce sometimes. And yeah, they look very confusing. All the old ones were pretty easy, and if it was a bird, it kind of had like a bird-like name, like Spiro, Spiro, and everything. Just kind of seemed normal. These things kind of look like anime monsters, which is kind of what they are, I guess, but they look a lot more, kind of like digimon -ish. because Digimon was always a little bit more technical looking to me. Yeah. But. But some of the new designs look really good. Yeah, I'm hoping that the, uh, what they're supposed to be. Yeah. Well, we're back here in this room. I just did a circle to get that chest, so I'm going to go back through this door, jump back down, and uh, go back to the room with the gears. But, uh, if anybody ever wants to play online, have a poker battle, battle when they get the game, and once I've actually got the game set up, feel free to message me. I'll probably... Does that game have friend codes? I don't know how that works. Uh, I probably does. So, I've never played and a I've DS game online. i heard the 3DS is not having friend codes. Yeah, I heard that they might not be, or it will be a little bit easier than the friend codes. It might be a short It'll become game. like, um... Xbox Live, I've heard. Like, you just look up someone and find them. And then yeah. add them, no friend codes, no anything. And that would be good, because. That'd be good. Friend codes are obnoxious. Yeah. Alright, but yeah, you just jump down the hole when you're up there in that gears room. It'll land you right here on that platform. Make sure you jump in the right area, or you're gonna be off the cliff. Um, now you just need to jump over to these things that are spinning around the room, and you'll use your claw shot to um, get to the next one. I'm going to take out these keys before I go on so I don't get knocked out. I just call them bats. But I'm going to miss a billion I'm not the points. terminology person. Uh, I, I call the ones that I know by their right names, but I don't know all the yeah. these names. Smack them. And uh, now I need a claw shot over to the next one. I hate this. It never wants to aim right. A little bit jerky. You gotta aim ahead of it to so actually attack. Not where the yellow cursor shows up. You gotta aim in front of it, and then just. Hey man, mention what I'm doing for Legend Zelda. 
best you can. Um, I'm going to be doing a 100% walkthrough of Minish Cap. Looking forward to that. And that will be uh, featured on LegendZelda.net. When he starts to get that up, I'll be making uh, um, updates on the main page so you can see them all. But look forward to seeing that. I haven't played that game in years, so it'll be interesting. Um, it's kind of going to be blind because I've never actually gotten that far in it. I just right. played it to see if it works on the emulator I'm using. So. What's funny about... I did find a really good walkthrough for it, though. That's good. Zelda Dungeon has some good ones if you uh. Yeah, that's the one I'm using. Alright. Yeah, ZeldaDungeon.net. Pretty much the best walkthrough site on the web, if you want my opinion, in regards to Zelda games. But, what's funny is with this area that I'm at now, I got lost for like 30 minutes. <laughs> I got. I was trying to find the right platform I needed to swim up to, and I kept going up the wrong one. I couldn't find a boulder I needed to blow up. And I like swam around in circles and was just having the hardest time. So it reminds me of my um Super Paper Mario LP that I was gonna do. Why is there we go. I don't know why I stood there for so long, but I did. So <laughs> um just drop down, blow this up again. Pull out your bombs. And we are almost at the point of getting the boss key, but by now, so we're just like a room away. We'll just go in there. So close, I'm like, can't wait to see what it actually is because I've never actually seen what it is. It's kind of like a tentacle monster, and then he turns into a giant eel. It's too bad. <laughs> I don't think I did. So you had to swim oh, up. Okay. Work your way out and climb up here. Just gonna go into this room right here and uh, you take out this guy real quick. Remember you just need to hook shot him, pull him out of his bubble, and then slash at him with your sword. Hi Morpha. Alright, now you need to grab onto this thing with your claw shot and you need to descend down by just pulling down on a control stick. You can't let go, otherwise the trap door closes, and that will drop you down onto the platform with the boss key right here. So, I was just about to ask, is this the boss key? Yes, it is. So, um, now we can just jump in there and uh, swim our way back out to the room we were just in, eventually, when I decided to move. I don't know why I'm standing still again. I, I don't remember what, what I was thinking when I was playing this game. Since I record the audio much later, but I may have just gotten busy or distracted for a second. Or maybe it was. Oh, wait, you don't actually do that much editing from what I've seen. No. So, you just swim back out, go back through there, which we blew up earlier. Um, you know, work your way back to the main room. The main. I can. I think I called it the circle room earlier, which is one of the first rooms you're in where you can um, change the direction of the ladder and everything. That's where we're going to be making it towards. If it wants to let me climb out of the water here. And once again, we're going to use the claw shot to um, work our way back across this room. wants to connect me. Claw shot's a really cool item. I like how they let you um, descend and do stuff with like it. Skyward Sword. I think they could have some uh, cool... They, um, I just they had it in uh, Phantom Hourglass, but I don't think they did it in Spirit Tracks. No, yeah, they did it in Spirit Tracks. It was just a different purpose. Yeah, um, I don't know why I just went around in a circle and then went back to the room, the platform I was standing at, but you don't need to do that. Um, just drop down to one of these other platforms so you can claw shot over to the other one. And 
again, just need to get to another platform. Let's skip that one. Um, you can get an item from that chest. I don't need it. Don't want to waste my time getting it. So I'm just going to go right over to this next platform here. Let go. And, and then if I was actually playing this, I'd miss most of this stuff. Anyways. How long have you been playing Zelda games for? Six or seven years. I am still not that good at them. Huh. I first actually got it the Zelda when uh, the GameCube came out and I and it came with the collector collector's edition, <laughs> like the collector's edition thing. That was a really good deal. I I didn't get the GameCube with that because I already had a GameCube, but. I ended up buying the collector's edition and a shop for 30 bucks. That was when the thing was yeah, still going for 50 bigger. bucks or so. So, really good deal. I mean, that's where I first played Ocarina of Time because I didn't own it in 64. Yeah, so, I played uh, Ocarina and Majora's Mask on the GameCube. And, and I still uh, need to beat those two. You're good. Ocarina first, Because Majora's Mask is harder from what I've heard. Yeah it is. And again I just went the wrong direction thinking I'm playing the Wii version. So, so over here you can it's now really claw shot over. Thing. It is. I don't under I still don't understand why they had to do that. Nothing that they it's said because like sense. people hold the Wii remote in their left hand. What does that gotta do with the way you walk though? It only impacts how you're swinging and it's the right hand. Yeah. But it impacts how you're swinging your sword. So I get where they wanted to change his hands, because most people are right-handed. But I don't know why they had to make the rooms and make doors and everything. Rooms that is completely mirrors. That doesn't make so sense. So I guess whatsoever. just to differentiate the two. I guess. I'm just gonna swim down. Should just be an item here. You don't need to get it, but you can if you want. Rupees. Rupees. Got a good surplus of those at the moment, so. Um, we're almost done here with this video. I'm going to the boss door right now, so I'm just going to kind of wrap up things here real quick. And uh, say thanks for watching.